Hi everyone, Rachel Cox here. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to learn how to get your eyeshadow to be amazing, learn how to do eyeliner, lashes, keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love makeup and want to see more from me and follow me on my beauty journey. The channel pertains to mainly beauty and makeup and makeup tutorials and how to slay your makeup. I have acne and dry skin and if you have acne like me, you can follow my tutorials as well and learn new tips to make your makeup bomb AF. Hi everyone, voiceover Rachel here. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover and explaining what I'm doing. Right now I'm taking a mixture of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics C Zero Concealer mixed in with my P. Louise base in shade Rumor. Mixing them together and using my LC Black Sponge to stamp it on my lid. And you can see at the end I stamp it so it dries faster. Then I'm taking my James Charles palette and taking my JS brush, don't remember the number, but it's a mauve fluffy brush, and taking the shade Pinkity Drinkity and just first stamping it all over from the outer crease to my inner crease and building the color how I like it. And then once I like the color of the amount of pigment, I'm going to bl blend it, keeping the brush flat so that way in circular motions it blends it the best and creates more blend. Don't be afraid to just take your time blending and building the pigment how you like it. Next, I'm taking the shade Skip, which is the matte neon pink, <clears throat> and I'm going right underneath uh, Pinkity Drinkity, going underneath the shadows and making sure the previous shade shows. It's going to make sure you're building that dimension, and I'm just dotting it really carefully, and from the outer corner, I'm building up that pigment, and then I'm bringing it into the inner corner, and I also did not set my lids so that my lids are nice and um, um, the pigment shows, and I'll actually have the brush, um, the name of the brush on the screen for you all. Um, so you guys can um, know what brushes I'm using, but they're all from the Jeffree Star and Morphe Brushes collection. And I'm taking that first brush we used, that mo very fluffy brush, and I'm taking it flat against the in between um, Pinkity Drinkity and Skip, so that it further blends. And my key to blending is just um, using circular motions and making sure the brush is flat. And then I'm going back into that more denser, fluffier brush and building that color and blending as well. Because if you blend with a denser brush, it's going to blend the color even more so. And then I'm taking both that color again in that inner portion of my eye. And taking in that inner portion is just going to make your eyes bigger and work better with your contour. Next, I'm taking the shade on the smaller, dense, fluffy brush. Taking the shade Love That and Escape. Not quite purple yet, but mixing in a little bit of that rosy kind of purple. So, and we're just building the darkness and again letting the previous shade show to create dimension and make the eyes just pop and smolder. I'm just building it from the outer corner again to the inner corner, but going more every time we go darker, I'm going um, farther a little bit at a time beneath it, if that makes sense. I'm just carefully going underneath it, is what I mean. <laughs> oh, damn. And just going under the the dark, the dark colors, underneath each color, very carefully. And then I'm carefully blending it, and also, again, bringing it in that inner corner. Then I'm blending with the previous brush and shade we used. Going back into the shades, um, as you can see, I'm going back into um, Pinkity Drinkity. I'm just going back in with the shades, um... The other shades we use is just going to create dimension and create a better blend. And then I'm finally going into Escape and Spooky on the smaller, dense brush that's more round. So it'll blend but also pack on color where, like in the specific areas you want it. It's an amazing brush. And I'm going even below that previous color, going in the inner outer corner and bringing it <clears throat> um, across my lid, across the crease. Being very careful. And then I'm just building and blending. That's the key. Build a blending going underneath every shade so that your eyes just like all the colors show and it just makes your eyeshadow look amazing. And it's also important to invest in like a great eyeshadow primer as well. Um, I mix the two, the white one to make the, make the shadows pop more and the P. Louise because it creates a smooth base and you don't have to set it. And I'm just building. Build any shades how you want. You can use this for any eyes, eye colors. 
Next, I'm just cutting the crease. And um, what, what I was saying, you can use this method for any color um, story. So blues go with a lighter blue or darker blue. And I'm just st carefully stamping. This is an Ala Mare brush. Um, it's a flat brush. But I find it, it's amazing for cut crease. You guys will see. It creates a sharp cut crease. And with cut creases, I'm very careful. I really stamp out um, the colors first. And I bring the drag the brush down because it's going to stamp out the crease and make, make it um, sharp. And then um, I go in from the inner corner, as you can see. And I'm just following above my um, natural crease. So that way when I look, when my eyes are open, you guys can actually see the color and it doesn't like disappear. And then I'm going to where the, the cut crease is going to meet my outer corner. It's going to meet the um, escape and spooky together. And then once I have the um, once I have the great sh the good sharpness um, that I like and how it looks good, I'm just filling it in. Then I'm going with the shades Sister, which is like a rose shimmery gold. And I'm also <clears throat> it's important because after we pat on this color, um, in the outer corner, we're gonna pack the same darker colors on the outer corner. So I tapped um the outer corner to make sure it like blends. There's not like a harsh edge of the cut crease. And dang, I was feeling myself. So I was just packing on the lid shade Sister. Because I want to make that inner corner and cut crease pop with shimmer. And then as you can see, I'm going in with Spooky and Escape. And it make like a purplish black tone. Or more like a dark purple, I should say. But that black is just going to shine through. Then I'm going above that cut crease to make that cut crease line just stand out. And then I'm just going with like my back and forth with different brushes between the two fluffy dark uh, smaller brushes and going above that cut crease line just gonna make your eyes pop make the cut crease pop and make sure you though um, you're gonna see I'm gonna be blending it really well and like with this look you wanna you wanna make sure like on it when you blend blend really carefully so that it looks like the darkness is just like popping out if that makes sense it's like smoldering out honey and then I'm just going in with the previous shades I used with those brushes, um, going above the darker shades we used, the dark purple shades, Escape and Spooky, and going above those where I applied the Skip, I think it was the um, bright neon pink. And I'm just going back and forth. Going back and forth, just going to make sure you get a great blend. And I'm going in with the first color, Pinkity Trinkity. And right there, I was like, ooh, yes, honey. And then for the highlight, I'm actually going with my Ofra Nikki Tutorials highlighter. Um, it's the lighter one in the trio that she made. And I was shook because you only need a little bit um, of that highlight. And I'm just putting it on my brow bone and blending it out and building it slightly and then blending it. And it to make sure it like doesn't look like a harsh line, Um, as you see, I just was bringing the brush down and kind of dragging it down so that it just blends. Then I bring my finger and actually tap the highlight so the highlight is m more blended. And then I'm just taking, um, to make sure the highlight and pinkity drinkity look blended, I was just blending in between those shades, the highlight and pinkity drinkity. Then I'm, I'm taking my Kat Von D liner and carefully lining my eyes. This actually was really fast. I just did a thin line. More so using the um, side of the um, tattoo liner and then the tip of it um, to get a really thin line and using light pressure. You don't want to use too harsh pressure. And then kind of putting my hand on my face kind of helped you. I kind of did that. It was more so I was holding it away but just being very careful to line. I didn't do a wing because with this look, um, I didn't really think a wing would fit because it's more, the outer corners are more wider. But if you do this look with like a more winged out eyeshadow shape, it'll work amazing. Then I'm taking my Jeffree Star Extreme Frost Highlighter in shade Gagne. This is literally amazing. Like look, I literally only use a little bit. I use it with my finger because with the brush, it does not perform as well. With the finger, it grabs the product so good and just disperses it. I kind of went overboard, but... Honey, I want to be blinding, and literally, you don't need a lot with this. It's expensive, but if you could have one highlight for the rest of your life, this is it. Like, if I could only use one forever, I would use this one because it's so pigmented. Don't need a lot, and it literally looks like you're using Facetune. Like, your face is wet, speedy. And on my 
I don't know, I, I did it off camera, but it kind of blend the um, part of the highlight that kind of looks kind of messy, right, that you can see in the light, kind of looks like it's on the contour, so I did go ahead off camera and blend that. But with eyeshadows, the primer you use is very important. If you find your primer isn't working good, do get a new one. Um, the P. Louise one is from the UK. I order it online. It's amazing with the Jeffree Star. just makes the eyes pop with that like, white mixed in. The right brushes, the right primers can make your eyeshadow pop. Taking your time to make sure that you're building the shades carefully with the, those specific brushes or the brushes you use. And um, yeah, and I'm just highlighting my nose right now and the bridge of my nose. The key to making your eyeshadow look bomb is making sure each shade you use, it shows. So with every step. So your light, the lightest shade shows and all your shades shows. I'm just going with my Little Lashes my Amy. This is a completed look. This is how to do your eyeshadow in 2020 like a pro, honey. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.